Hello, Soul Healer, and welcome now to Thursday. Sunny and professional today for the Soul Healers, the Virgos. The moon is in Gemini, so your emotional focus is your official career and legacy. So emotions are kind of aware about career, where it's going, where it's not going, how the kids, they're part of your legacy as well, etc. And it does look like there'll be an emotional breakthrough, a major understanding today. But before we get there, let's zip back around to the sun real quick. The sun in Chapter 2 of Sun and Scorpio today is ruled by Mercury, which is interesting because the moon's in Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury, so you can kind of see things, how they're bridging together. Yesterday we had breakdown energy with Uranus. Today with Mercury that will be the breakthrough, the understanding. And the topic of course is your attitude, your mind games, how your mind works for you or against you, etc. So you might have had a major aha moment in the last 24 hours about how you think or how your thinking leads to certain uh, things to manifest. Remember, thoughts are one piece of us manifesting reality. So our thoughts do become things. It's not the only part of manifesting reality, but it's certainly an important one. A lot of times we sabotage that spell going out and it comes back just the way we asked for it. Now back to the moon. The moon today will have a temporary soul pyramid in air which means an emotional breakthrough as well. So this is interesting. We may all take a big step up both in our awareness and in our emotions, and in your case, three areas, awareness, emotions, and thought. But the breakthrough really is how you feel about your career. That's the epicenter. And tying into career will be your money and your soul capital and also what that does for your lifestyle. So soul capital lifestyle with an epicenter of career. Then lastly, we have a new episode of The Renegade Aromatherapist with Sadiqa Salter going live today everywhere the SG and her television network streams. And she is talking about plant essences as it relates to Scorpio. So if you're having a hard time staying out of your mind or having issues, she will literally recommend a certain plant or fragrance that will kind of pull you out of it automatically. So I wouldn't miss it if I were you, Virgo. Since you're an earth sign, plants really affect you, anything tangible. All right, that's all I have for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So